Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan, back here with another video. Now, we're here to talk about Cold War. And don't worry, if you watched the last video, I'm just filming this all in one night, so I don't have to do it, like, later. So, just just if you guys were wondering, you know, just, I'm, I'm okay, you know? I'm not wearing the same shirt, like, 50 times in a row. Like... Oh, shit. Oh, cut, cut it, cut it. Okay, anyway, so guys... Today we're here to talk about the Cold War beta, which was absolutely amazing. And, I mean, honestly, I can talk about this game all freaking day. And you guys know, if you guys have seen my other videos, that that, that shit, like, there's like 30 minute videos where it's just like, oh, oh my god. You know, oh shit. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make this a 10 minute video, try my very hardest. But, we're going to talk about... Some things that I personally love about the game. First of all, the weapons. Oh my gosh, the weapons. The weapons. Literally, the heart and soul of Call of Duty. The weapons. And the weapons are very nice. Very, very nice. But they're like... Hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself here. The weapons... The sounds and the reloads. Oh my. Oh my god. The reloads. Holy. <laughs> the reloads are. Oh my gosh. Just the commando. Like if you shoot out a, a, whole, a whole commando mag. Whew, that thing is clean. You just flip the mag out. Stick one back in. Like oh my. It's basically like the freaking, um, the NV4 from Infinite Warfare. It's right there. Ho hopefully you guys can see that. It's right there. Legacy Edition tinfoil casing. I'm not going to show it right now because it'll waste more time in the video. But, yes, it's right there. Legacy Pro Edition. Get on my level. Legacy Pro. It's right there. Just, just, just zoom in. Zoom in right there. I'll move my hand. Just, just, just zoom in. Just, just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Zoom in. Zoom in now. Edit. Ed editing Dylan. Zoom in. Freaking zoom in. I know you're not zooming in. Zoom in. Oh, it's shaking. Okay, anyway. 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 <clears throat> Whew. A lot of anyways. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, the weapons are really good. I, I really like the weapons and all like like aside from the jokes, the weapons are really nice. The freaking even like the LMGs, you know? Like yes, I think a couple guns need to be buffed a little bit. Like for example, the um the nineteen eleven needs to be buffed a little bit. The uh what was the other Crap, what was the other marksman rifle? What was it? Oh, the type. The type 68. That thing needed to be buffed. And... That's pretty much it, but... Like, a couple guns need to be, need to be buffed, for sure. But, for the most part, the guns were pretty balanced, I feel like. And every gun was like sort of the same to where you can like where if you're using this gun like using this assault rifle versus this assault rifle it's not like a huge difference you know it's not like oh this one has an extreme fire like blast your freaking you know whatever off but they're the guns are balanced and that's what I liked about it and some other things I like that they had classic Black Ops in it. Like, of course, they had to have RCXD. They had to have woods. They had a wood skin. They had to have that. Like, like they don't disappoint. Like, Black Ops never disappoints. You know, like, a game... Like, even Black Ops 4. Yes, I know. It was not that good because it didn't have a campaign. And... But still, like, it was... It was pretty good, you know? I mean, they tried something new, they kind of just went for it, you know? 
and eh, it wasn't really that good. But anyway, like just some of the like the music in the game too. The music is very nice, very very nice, and the attachments. Really, like, Black Ops 1, they literally, like, and the other thing I like is they took some Black Ops guns and put them in Cold War, but then also they have some new guns, you know? And I really like that about, about what Cold War did. They're like, oh, same time period kind of, let's just take the good guns, push them up in here, and then just create some new guns from Wonderland and just put them in here and boom Cold War multiplayer and it's nice, it's real nice and I do like that you can choose your character I do like that and I was I feel like the only bad thing, now some bad things that I don't like like for the beta, like this is basically just for the beta but why would they have four maps? they have five freaking modes they have four maps. Four maps that you can play on. Moscow. Satellite. Um, the, oh, Cartel. And uh, Miami. Four maps. Like, I feel like what they should have done is they should have added, like, like a hijacked or something. Like a Cold War version of hijacked. That would have been sick. Especially because, like, people don't know those maps, you know? That would have been cool to have, like, a known map in there. Where you're like, oh, shoot, I remember this crap, you know? But I feel like if they had, like, Firing Range or something, or, like, Nuketown, like, like people would just get pissed and just exit out of the lobby when they see that they weren't in Nuketown. But, like, Nuketown has been in, like, pretty much every Call of Duty, you know? While... Hijacked has only been like two, you know, like, or maybe it was in Black Ops 4, maybe, I don't know, anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, any, yeah, but, another thing, that they need a fix, is, um, like, there's some really good stuff in Cold War. But one thing that I did not like was... They'll probably fix it, like, by the game releases. Like, when the game releases. But, like, ha like most of the time, I found myself in, like, an already half-over, like, game. And I was like, why? Like, my team is losing. Like, why'd they put me in this game? And that happened a lot, you know? Like, where... I would get in, and the match would already be half over. I'm like, what's going on? What What's wrong with the servers? <laughs> but that was probably just like a beta thing, because not that many people were playing it or something, or the servers were weird, or... It's the, you know, it's the beta. So, maybe there's a little glitch, or like, something didn't work out. I don't know, but I'm just hoping that like, when Cold War does come out, and I'm trying to get a sick gameplay, and it plops me into like some random ass match that's already started. It's just like, what? Like, Call of Duty needs to fix that. That's one thing they need to fix is freaking, like, if a match already started, like, yeah, I understand that, oh, we need more people because the teams are unfair. Like, like, I don't get it, you know? Like, why would you just put someone that's trying to look for a fresh match in that match? Like, no, what they should do, I'm telling you what they should do. They should literally have a filter. And you can either check or check off if you're trying to be in, like, as an, as an average player. Like, if you're not doing videos or anything. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you're in, like, an already, like, half-done match or whatever. You know, like, it doesn't really matter. You're just like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, if you're trying to get, like, a sick gameplay, you can't go in and it's already, like, halfway over, you know? So, I don't know. Anyway, if this video gets to 25 views, I'll make a part two of this. And once Cold War releases and I play it for a couple weeks, I'll probably do another video like this. But, like, not the beta, I guess. 
But, and, uh, and another thing, like, hopefully they have, like, the FAMAS, the Scorpion, like, hopefully they have, um, like, the Fade, or, what's that one got? The, the Foe? No, no, that's not the Foe. It's like the weird one with a little mag on the side. I think that was in, or, I know it was in Ghost. I think that was in Black Ops 2. Not, no, Black Ops 1, but Black Ops 2, T, O, O. Like, like, yeah, you guys get what I'm saying, but, like, I'm just hoping they have, like, some more, like, familiar guns, I guess. And, ho and hopefully some more unfamiliar guns. You know, some new guns. Because I don't want literally every single gun to be the same, you know? Like, that, I mean, it'd just basically be Cold War Remastered with, or, B01, just with new maps, basically, but, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching, and, by the way, I probably have Cold War beta for freaking days. I have, like, hours of Cold War gameplay, so I'm going to be posting it literally probably until, um... Like, the actual game releases and on November 13th. That's the lucky day, folks. November 13th. So, hopefully I can put all this stuff out by November 13th. Because that's coming up, isn't it? What is it? The 21st today? It's the freaking 21st today. Oh, my gosh. I gotta go edit. Alright. I'll see you guys later. I gotta go.